This is Big Boss from Foxhound Woods Ball coming to you from Fort Lauderdale and this video is going to be different from what I usually do. It's in regard to Facebook's ad policy as far as them lumping paintball markers in with weapons such as firearms, blades, and explosive devices. I'm not sure if the people who did this ad policy are paintball players, but as a paintball player, I will say that lumping paintball markers and with weapons is a unfair thing and it's been harming our industry as well as harming the paintball player community overall. Now, question is, what's the difference? What's the difference between this and this? These are both Tipman 98s. This one is your basic setup as far as what you get from the factory. And this is a customized job that my brother and I did a while back with the full AK kit of 14 to 16 inch barrel, X7 AK front sight, cyclone feed response trigger, and a wrap for RIS rail and a AR rear sight rail setup. What's the difference between this and this? They're both the same caliber. They both shoot ink balls. What's the difference? This is more like a recreational setup, general purpose. This is a tactical setup. What's the difference between this Kingman TLR? and this Tipman X7 that's been customized. Again, both these shoot the same caliber paintballs. Both these are used for recreational purposes. I don't know, is it aesthetics? Does it look scary and intimidating? You see, this is what we would define as fear mongering. From a real world standpoint, when we look at tragedies like Sandy Hook, the aftermath after that, California Senator Dianne Feinstein was pushing for another assault weapons ban, which got shot down when an expert that was supporting the those that were opposed to it pointed out that Feinstein's bans were more or less aimed at aesthetics of weapon systems and not on functionality. Now, is that the same thing as comparing this Tipman 98 Custom to its fully customized version? As you can see, this aesthetically looks like a tricked out clashed cough combat weapon. Yet, real world, the AK family has picked up a major fan following in the States. But I digress. What we're talking about here is a very major and negative stereotype toward the paintball player community in general. We're not violent people. We're not advocating the destruction of a particular government. We're not dealing fighting for any type of socio-political cause. We're just out there to have fun. We're a community. Family even. I've seen entire families on the paintball field. I've seen combat vets out there. I've seen amputees out there. It doesn't matter who you are, what walk of life you come from. When those goggles go down, the ref says go, everything else doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, who you love, race, faith, gender, geopolitical standpoints, it doesn't matter. And that's the point we as a community need to get across to these various social media sites and saying that we as a community will not be labeled, we will not be stereotyped, and that is what we are trying to get across to the non-players in general. Now, if you want to help, 
somebody posted on the social website change.org a e-petition addressing this particular problem. It's at change.org. I will be posting a link to the description of this video. And I want to hear your thoughts on it. You can catch a written version of this at outerheavenpaintball.blogspot.com. There will be a link in the description to this video as well. This is Big Boss, and I'm out of here.